hello lovely people welcome back to parcel location video tutorial in this video we are looking at how to design a simple birthday flyer in adobe photoshop it been a long time i uploaded a video so let's get into this one first of all you will use a square dimension thousand by thousand pixels 300 for resolution and then click on create a new canvas is going to open for you then we want a black background Make sure you have a black selected. Then with the help of your pen tool, you can see it here. Pen bucket to select that and then fill the background. Next, I have this background that I'm going to use. So I'll click and drag this into Photoshop. And please, I'm going to make this one available for you in the description below. So position it and click on enter to accept changes. Then go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. So let's blur this one out. So let's go for a figure like 52. Click on OK. And you can see we are almost there. Very nice looking. So basically, we are going to use this one for the background. And we can reduce this one. You can reduce the opacity of this one if you like. So let's say 50%. So we don't want it too much. Just a little at the background. And we can unlock this one select this once then right click and you see group from layers and we can name this one as background from here go back to your move tool and when you try to move something you see that it will be affecting the background so to prevent that make sure you have the background arrow click to have it in a single group then you click on this lock so that it will prevent you from moving the background and we have a solid background from here next i'm going to use this image but before then let me grab my rectangular tool draw a shape like this and if you are using an older version like photoshop 2021 2020 and below you have to use the rounded rectangular tool but in this case we just have only the rectangle tool and we have the option here to make it round or you can still open the property sheet and then you toggle with this one and it's going to give you the same effect over here next we don't want any stroke on this so click on remove stroke and then we can also toggle with this to get the effect that we are looking for so i think something like this is okay all right something like this is okay click on enter to accept changes this is somehow a little small so let me open up a little bit click on enter open this one a little bit open my property sheet and still and increase the round shape of this shape then next i'm going to make a duplicate so when we make the duplicate i'll make the middle one a little longer than the first one then click on enter to accept changes and i'll make a copy of this one as well so maybe you'll be wondering what I'm using to make the duplicate. You just have to hold down the Alt key on your keyboard, click and drag to make the duplicate, and that's all that you have to do. And then we are going to have these three shapes. So from here, Control G into Group from Layers, and I can see I have four shapes here. It's supposed to be three. So from here, select all of them, Control G to Group this. And then, but before then, you can see the space is too much. So let me bring it a little closer. So something like this. Okay, control G to group all of them. And then select it, control T for free transform. And I'm going to rotate it in degrees. So hold down the shift key as you rotate it. So minus 30 is okay. And we can also increase the size of it if you would like to. Then from here, then from here, we are going to add our image that we are going to use. But before then, please, we are going to have a 3D intensive graphic design with the pros. So my masters who taught me Photoshop is hosting a graphic design class, which I'm also part as a moderator. We are going to teach you how to start a graphic design and how to even level up your game in graphic design. Not all of the things that are going to be taught on YouTube is going to be Zoom. So we are going to have a one on one encounter with all the pros and you ask them questions to prevent you from 
going through the stress or going through the difficulties that they went through in achieving what they have now so if you are serious about learning graphic and you want to take it to the next level please make sure i will leave a link in the description below to join the group it's coming on 25th february of this month so just this friday so please make sure you use the link to join the group and join us and this one is going to be massive so it's going to be 25th 26th and 27th see you there and please, if this is your first time here, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe as well. The more like I get on this video, the more YouTube is going to show it to many people. And many people are also going to benefit from this. You don't want to be the only person who benefits from this video. Let your friends also benefit as well. Yeah. Alright, let's continue. So from here, I'll go for my image. I would like to use this picture. Click, drag it into Photoshop, then scale it down. Click on enter to accept changes. Then right click on the image and you will see create a creeping max. And boom, you can see the effect that you have created just like this. And we can make our image very large. So just click on Ctrl T for the free transform and you enlarge the image as you want. So I think something like this is okay. Enter to accept changes. So from here, what left is to just add some words and the name and the date of the birthday. So I can write the date over here. So we have our date here and to make it more presentable, let's make a shape around it. And then we don't want any fill in the shape. So I'll click on here and click on none then the stroke i'm going to leave it at white and maybe increase the pixels to two or let's say three click on enter to accept changes so you can see where we are going from to so select both of them and align this one to the center Control g to group this so we can group and name this one as maybe date Next, we are going to add happy birthday over here. Then you can type this one in caps or small. I would like to go with small. And please, you can notice the font that I'm using over here. So this is the font. You can notice it and download it from the internet and use as well. So let me make a copy of this one over here so let me bring it over here and i'll change this one to plus one make that one a little big select both of them and align this one to the center so i can see this one is too big so let me make it maybe five select both of them and then you are going to get the option at the top here to make it to align it to the center next with your text to selected you can add any birthday code that you want to add over here so i'll just type in a random text make it very small and close the test up so something like this is okay for me Then I'll change the font. All right, so this is a simple way that you can go about Happy Birthday Flyer in Photoshop. It just been a while and I wanted to take us through something. So we can also add a drop shadow to this one to make it stand out. So FX drop shadow. And you can see just like that. And you can see just like that. This one starts to stand out. And you can also add a stroke around this one. Maybe a white stroke. You go for three. And you go for white. And you can see the effect that we are making. All these are simple, simple stuff that if you add to your 
design is going to make it stand out. So without further ado, let's add some little shapes over here to so shapes. Give it a white fill. Make a copy of this. So I'll make a copy. Select both of them. So I'm holding down the shift key. Click on the other one to make a copy. So I want just four of them. So like this, select all of them. Control E to merge them. Then make a copy. Select this one, Control E to merge again. Make another copy. Select all of them. Control E to merge again. And then I'll continue to make the copy. Select both of them. Control E to merge. Then I'll make this one a little small. Delete the SX. And you can see, boom, we just have our shape. So what we are going to do is we are going to make a copy at the top. So make a copy at the top. That's it, guys. So this is the final output of our birthday flyer design in Photoshop. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't. Pass a location. See you next time and check your screen the other video we pick for you to enjoy next. We love you and keep creating.